Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshops. This week I grab a frame from video to use inside of Photoshop. Okay, this tutorial is a down and dirty way that I use to get a still frame from video. Now, let me explain what I'm talking about. I have here a uh, template that I use for my YouTube videos and it already has my workshop branding and everything on there and what I need to do is for that particular video I just want to have uh, one frame from that video so that I can create a thumbnail so the way that I do that is I'll bring up this video and I kind of scrub through and see if there is a frame that I would like. Let's go back to here. All right, let's just say that that is the frame that I'm actually wanting to use. So what I do is on my keyboard, there is a one key that's called print screen. It's abbreviated P-R-T-S-C-R for print screen. And all you do is just press that button and it looks like nothing happens, but what it's doing in the background it is actually copying what it sees on your monitors uh, to the clipboard. So once I'm inside of Photoshop, I can just go to File, New, and you can see here on this preset, it says clipboard because it knows that there is something on the clipboard. So I just say, okay and it gives me the resolution. Now, I have both of my monitors here, so it actually will do both of your, uh, your monitors. So all I have to do is Control V to paste what was on there, and as you can see, here is my monitor, and here is my other monitor. So I just crop out the part that I want, in this case, We'll say about that much of it. I'll make it a little bit tighter. Good enough. Say OK. And then I just drag that over to my template. I've got it here and I will hold shift to center it. Now I can just resize it. So um, I've got that layer that it's on selected and I go to control T for transform and I'll just resize that to where I want it. Actually, I'll bring it in this way and bring that down. So there you go. So that is a easy way, a down and dirty way of actually getting a frame from a video uh, to use inside of Photoshop. All right, that's our tutorial for today. Uh, make sure if you have any questions to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Always remember to subscribe to my channel so you can know when my new videos are coming out. And I appreciate you watching my video and I'll see you next week. Thanks.